Well, really, there's nothing to say. She is a woman of vision, you know? I mean, she, she has had many visions in her career, you know? She envisioned the Center for Social Media. She envisioned this incredible campaign about fair use. She's done some of the pioneering work about ethics in documentary. She has contributed so much to the Washington, D.C. film community, uh, to the work of many women in the industry, and really to the film community as a whole. So I can't think of anyone more deserving than Pat. She's a great listener. Um, she's energetic, and she's very, very positive. I mean, if you look at her face, you know, she's always smiling. I remember when Pat first sat down with me, and uh, you know, she was asking about video action, and she made me feel like the work that I was doing, you know, this tiny little nonprofit organization, somehow fit into this bigger picture of social issue documentary filmmaking and media production. Her enthusiasm is really sort of contagious. And you know, when you meet her and you hear about something that she's working on, you sort of try and figure out how can I be a part of that because you know it's going to go somewhere. Working with her is a very energizing and I don't want to say, I don't want to say tiring, but you have to be able to kind of keep up pace with her. You know, she's terrific to work with. I mean, you will be kicking around what you think is an idea for something or maybe something we should do. And she's just sitting there already writing the initial email to get the whole process started and send it off before you finished your sentence, you know. She sets her sights on something and she goes after it and gets it done. And that's really a, a great, um, role model for the rest of us faculty here. I think Pat has always thought bigger than just Washington. The Center for Social Media really took that to the next level. It's a nationally and in fact really internationally recognized institution. I think that all the work they've been doing in terms of fair use and now talking about documentary ethics um, and putting on festivals such as the Human Rights Festival um, are really ways that they are bringing the whole documentary community together in a dialogue and in a conversation. Pat is very much someone who sees her role as an academic, as someone who belongs in the world and communicating to the world, and also making sure that in this modern society of ours with mass communication, that those channels are available to intellectuals and to, you know, that kind of public discourse. The one thing that Pat does, Pat makes sure that those things that you're doing in your work are shared with the broader community. She was always creating conferences and panels and making sure that there was a place on that panel for me, for video action, to be able to share the work that we're doing with the larger public. She remembers what people are doing and so she'll say, Lena, this filmmaker is doing a film on X, Y, and Z. You may want to speak to them. And so then, and then she'll introduce us and then go off to find somebody else that, that she could make these matches work. So it's great. You know, you want to be next to her because you know you'll meet tons of great people. She's just very connected and wants everyone who she can help be connected to meet all of the very important people that she knows. She's very generous when it comes to her network and with making sure that connections are being made for those that she's mentoring. I think it's amazing that she has helped through the Center for Social Media create a place for dialogue and for conversation about important issues in the documentary film community. But what I think is even better is that it's not just about having a conversation, it's actually about action. She had a brilliant vision, along with Peter Yazzi, of how to change our world, and we did. We won. But that guide is so easy to digest, you know, it takes something so so up in the air and it makes it really like, here, these are, these are the ways that you can use this, and th these are examples on how to use it. Ten years ago, it was a different world and we couldn't really exercise our fair use rights, and now we do and we get E&O insurance on it. Not only do we get a broadcast, but it's insured. So congratulations, Pat. This is such a well-deserved award amongst the many that you've already won. 
So congratulations, Pat, on getting the Women of Vision Award this year. It couldn't go to a more deserving person. Congratulations on this award. You are one of the more generous members of the film community. Congratulations, Pat. You've worked you've worked tirelessly and very hard for so long, and it's really amazing to see you receive this recognition. We're all so proud of our Women of Vision.